This is the Danny Johnson Show, and we're talking about being geographically separated from our spouse. Not because you hate each other, but because of, well, you know, military or incarceration or illness or career. And so we're hearing tips about how to keep that relationship alive, how to stay away from loneliness and crying the blues and whining and complaining and nagging about it, but making the best out of the set of circumstances. I know I've learned a lot so far in this first segment, but when I think about being geographically separated from people that you love, it reminds me of a little girl, a little girl that right now is being forced on by a grown man. She's been sold and separated from her parents because her parents couldn't afford to feed her. So they brought her into the hands of somebody else who then trafficked her into the sex trade. This little girl could have been your daughter, granddaughter, niece. It's not just little girls, but it's also little boys. While my husband and I were in Jamaica some 10 years ago, we always loved to get in and mix with the locals and hear the word on the street. And we'd found out that there was a hotel down in Jamaica. I'm not going to give the name just in case somebody from a very sick-minded place would want to find it. But that hotel specialized in bringing in eight-year-old boys to come in and have sex with grown men from the U.S. or Canada. It disturbed me. It was disgusting. And I began to research and find out that this was happening in the U.S. and happening all over the world. Yes, it's even happening in really high places. Yeah, who does this? Who buys the time for sexual acts from a child? Yeah, some of our politicians, some of your favorite celebrities, even pastors. Yes, college students, everyday average people of all ages, shapes, and sizes, old people, young people. All, diff- all different demographics, people on welfare, people who are rich. They buy the time of a child, an eight-year-old boy, a four-year-old girl to have sex. Talk about being geographically challenged, being separated from your family. These poor kids are forced to have sex with adults. It's disgusting. So we're doing something about it. Rather than turning a blind eye, rather than pretending like it doesn't exist, and rather than saying, oh, well, too bad, so sad. No, we are going to rescue 1,000 kids from the sex trade. Yes, 1,000 kids are going to be rescued from the sex trade. How? You and I are going to join forces, and we're going to stop this separation from their family, and we're going to stop these horrible acts from happening. Do you know that there are only 600 beds in the United States for these kids being rescued? rescued out of the sex trade, but there are 13,000 animal shelters around the United States? That's disgusting and shows a terrible set of priorities that we have as a nation. Today, it's going to change. Go to kingsransom.org. Again, that's kingsransom.org and do what you can. Click on Rescue 1000. You'll see it right in the header. Rescue 1000. Why? Children are not for sale. They're not for you or anyone else to have sex with, but it is our responsibility to help free these children and give them a real life. We are providing food, shelter, counseling, safety, and for those who unfortunately have been trafficked for too many years or now are teenagers, we're going to train them how to function outside of that industry. We're going to give them job training, not only emotional counseling, spiritual counseling. We're not only going to help their mind get set right, but we're going to develop their skill set so they can stand on their own two feet and be able to provide for themselves when they reach that age of needing to get back into the marketplace. We want to see healing. We want to restore fun back to these kids. We want to st- restore their childhood as much as we can back to them. Most importantly, we want to rescue them out of the pit of evil and wickedness that they are living in every day, all day. Go to kingsransom.org now. Do what you can. Listen, put purpose to money today by freeing one child from the sex trade. You can do this right this minute. kingsransom.org, rescue 1,000. Give a dollar or give 5,000. You can buy the kid right out of their slavery with just as little as $5,000. If you can't do that, find five friends, you and the five friends, to give $1,000 or $900 
$100 each. Go and find a few other friends. Go find 10 friends that could give $400 a month. Go find some other friends that are willing to give $14 or a dollar. I don't care what the amount is. Together, you and I are going to join forces and we're going to help these kids no longer be geographically challenged. No longer be alone. No longer be abused physically, sexually, and being forced to do things that no one should be forced to do. Kingsransom.org. Give what you can. We are going to rescue 1,000 kids out of the sex trade, and we're going to do it with your help. Go there now.